어. 15video Go ahead and watch it. I was able, in my opinion, to find a solution for the Razor Blade 15 and keep the temperatures cool at around 65 degrees Celsius max, which is the uh, window temperature, the window operating temperature that you can see from Razor batteries as well. Now, if you operate at temperatures that are above 65 degrees Celsius, in the long run, you might come across problems. And I've seen this all the time but no one's talking about it on YouTube everybody keeps talking about how awesome gaming laptops are but no one's talking about the problem with batteries you must have heard about bulging batteries and swollen batteries and at least lowering the life expectancy of batteries and the capacity of batteries so in this video I'm going to show you how to make your razor blade 15 way cooler at around 65 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and start this video. The first step, which is the most obvious step, and you'd be surprised to know that many people are not doing this, is to update the drivers. So go to www.nvidia.com, go to drivers, and then select your graphics card. Mine is an RTX 2080 Super Max Q. You can find it here, and then you can download the drivers, or you can have the NVIDIA automatic driver updates. I also recommend down, downloading GeForce Experience. That will uh, automatically set the optimal perform or the optimal settings for your games, and you can also download the latest drivers. So that's the first step here, which is to download your NVIDIA drivers, as well as Windows Update as well. So get the latest update for, from Windows, and download the latest GeForce drivers. All right. So the next step would be to buy one of these things. If you noticed, my laptop, let me zoom out, my laptop here is on one of these things. If you can see that it's elevated above the surface and check that out. It's elevated and you can get one of these from Amazon easily. It's called a laptop portable stand. So if I take the laptop, let me raise the laptop and I'll show you how it looks like. So the product looks like this. This is a portable laptop stand and it has different levels that you can use for raising your laptop. Now that will tremendously help with lowering the temperatures. I think it, it helps with about 5 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. If you keep the laptop flat on the table, it, you know, with, with heavy loads, the laptop will struggle to cool down the GPU and the CPU. So Elevating it like this above the table will somehow help with increased airflow. So that's the next thing you've got to do. All right, guys, so the next step would be to change the maximum processor state. And in order to do that, let me zoom in a little bit over here and show you how that's done. So in order to do that, just type in battery over here and go to power and sleep settings under Windows, scroll down, and then go to advanced or additional power settings. And over here, go to Change Power Plan, go to Advanced Power Settings, and finally, scroll all the way down here, and you can find it. Let's zoom in. Yeah, there it is. The Processor Power Management. Click on that, and then you'll find the maximum processor state. Click on the plus sign, and change, that, change the plugged-in value from 100% to 99% and what that does is that it disables Intel Turbo and it lowers the temperatures the operating temperatures so your your processor is not going to be functioning at maximum capacity just a little lower than that which will tremendously help with the temperatures as well now I've tested this don't lower it more than 99% in my opinion between 99 actually to 75 razor recommended 75 but 
If you lower it to 75%, you're going to have lots of performance uh, loss. You'll lose a lot of performance, a lot of frame rates, as you'll see now in, in Deus Ex. I'm going to play the game and show you. So I suggest to set it between 99 to maximum, let's say lowering it to 90, I say, even 95, if you can. Test that out and see what happens. And finally, the last step is the most crucial step. And that is, when I contacted Razer, I asked them about the fans, and I asked them if I could manually adjust the fans here. So in Razer Synapse, if you go to Performance right here, if you click Razer Central right here, go to Performance, and then you'll see Performance Modes. Now, you have so many options here. Usually it's left on Auto, which is the default, but Auto is not really great at managing the temperatures for playing games. Go to Custom. Now, you have two options here. I've tested both of them. But the best option is to increase your CPU and GPU all the way to the maximum instead of manually adjusting the fans, which I'm also going to talk about in a bit. What that does is that Razer or the laptop will adjust the fan speeds but to the maximum possible whenever needed. The other solution that I found was to manually adjust the fans. So if you can see that right there, that is the manual fan speed control. Let's say I set it all the way to 5100 or 5100. I don't want to set it all the way to the maximum, which is 5300, because I think that's not good to set it all the way to the maximum. Now, I asked Razer about this, and they said, according to your usage, you can manually adjust the fans, and that's what their technicians have been doing for a while. So, this is supposed to be safe, but, oh, you can hear that, the fans are kicking in. Yep, so that's what happens when you crank up the fans. So what that does is that it forces the laptop to use the fans. If you don't have a problem with the noise, usually gamers use headsets. So if you don't have a problem with noise, then that's going to be fine. But honestly, I think the most effective solution that I found was to go back to custom here and use this setting. So let's keep that. Let's put that back on auto and go to custom. Now I'm going to show you the difference of playing a game with and without this setting. Alright guys, so now I'm going to set everything back to the way it was. Restore power plans, okay, everything's set back to normal, which means that the maximum processor state is going to be back to 100. So that's 100. And if I remove the laptop from the laptop stand, so if I'm going to remove this, put it just on the table flat, all right, so you can see that. And if I don't manually crank up the fans, let's see what happens when I play Deus Ex. Let's go ahead and see what happens. As you can see, Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a very graphics intensive game. And this is on ultra settings. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of the core temperatures here. So let's see what we've got here. As you can see, let me zoom in, these are the core temperatures that you're getting right now. So you are getting uh, 80 degrees, wow, 80 degrees, 79, 76, 77. So that is above the 65 degrees threshold that I told you that Razer batteries actually have as a warning sign. Now when I told Razer about that, they said that this is a window threshold, which means that you can go above that, yeah. but the thing is, in my opinion, after some time, in the long run, operating at these temperatures above 65 degrees Celsius will hurt your battery. Your battery will not have the same capacity. In worst case, your battery will get swollen or damaged. So that is the problem with gaming laptops. Now let's see what will happen once we implement the solutions that I talked about. So the first thing I'm going to do just use the laptop stand again. So that will increase the airflow. There we go. Lap laptop stand is great. Okay. So that was the first thing to do. 
The next thing to do again is to go to maximum power state. Go to your battery plan, change plan settings, advanced, change advanced power settings, go to processor state, maximum processor state, and set this to 99. All right, and finally, let's try the solution with Razer Synapse. Now, as discussed here, you've got two solution, solutions. Either you crank up the, the fans manually, or you go to custom and put everything on boost and high, and the laptop will automatically set the fans at the highest possible uh, um, speed. Now that sounds like auto, but actually that's better than auto because it's pushing the system. I can hear, can you hear the fans right now? Yep, I can hear the fans. So now let's test what happens. Let's go back to the game. You can also see some performance gains in the game once you click on boost. And man, once you use Razer Cortex, speaking of Razer Cortex, that's a, that's a different story. Razer Cortex gives you a boost in performance between 30 to 50%, and I've tested that. The problem with Razer Cortex is that no matter what I do, the laptop is still going to have higher temperatures. So I'm not using Razer Cortex, sad face, but this is more than enough for me. I'm getting, look at that, I'm getting 200 frame rates per second, so that's more than enough. That's perfect. Let's check out the temperatures now. Let's go back here. Let's check out the temperatures. So you can see that the temperatures now are all being lowered to less than 70. Now they're 67, 70, 68. So the temperatures are going down and they're gonna continuously go down. You can see the fans are working harder so the temperatures will stabilize in a bit and you'll be able to get something around 65, 64. You can see that the temperatures are decreasing all because of the increased airflow, lowering the maximum processor state and elevating or raising the laptop above the surface. All of that helps in bringing down, the you can see that the temperatures right now you got 65, 65, 64. All right, this one's 66. So you have almost reached the, the threshold, which is 65. I mean, lowered it down to the threshold. You're supposed to be fine. You can game comfortably right now with these temperatures, which are not bad at all. Let me see that. Yeah, it's much cooler than before. I mean, it's still pretty warm. It's, it's hot, but it's way cooler than before. And you could feel the airflow coming from here, the air being sucked from the keyboard, and the fans are working. And that's it. There you go. That is, in my opinion, the best way to lower your temperatures. This is verified with Razer, but do this at your own risk. Now, Razer was recommending actually 75 degrees Celsius, 75% uh, for the maximum power state. But I've tried that, and you have a lot of performance loss with that. So try 99. 95 max in my opinion crank up your fans or use the boost feature on uh, Razer Synapse and Get one of these laptop stands update your Nvidia drivers, and you're supposed to be fine Finally, I can play on this beautiful thin Razer laptop with no problems at all. No thermal problems Thank you for watching